in this video we will try to apply another sample also as a picture from a picture and do it in Microsoft Word similar to previous videos uh, so first uh, this is a picture you can notice also I will start as usual I will start with the uh, if I have page background, page color, page border, water maker, header, page number and footer here for the footer, uh, these are only a requirement. I will not type uh, them as a foot in the footer. So I have page color, page border, and water maker. So first step, I will go to here, uh, design. I will add the water maker. Uh, I will add custom water maker text. For example, sample. Uh, I have the horizontal. I added the sample. Now I will add the page color. I will add this page color. Also, I will add page border. For page border, I have uh, a, also a clip art uh, as a art as a page color. I will choose the style. I will decrease the, the width of the page border, and I added. Also, I have a page number at the right margin. So I will go to here, insert page number. Uh, margin of page margin and I will choose the right side also I have a footer I have a header so I will go to here insert header I will search for the style I need for the header I don't have the exact style uh, here in this version so I, ha I will choose for example this style and I will type the text word sample and my name for example once finish i will click on close header and footer now again is a picture for the title i have microsoft word sample as a text effect with a sh shading also i have two paragraph i will use rand 2 to generate the two paragraph for this two paragraph i have to use times in new roman uh, size to uh, 11 as font and size double line spacing for first paragraph and single for the second paragraph and I have a line justify also uh, for the first paragraph I have you can notice a sh shape with tight wrapping uh, italic underline waved underline double strike through strike through highlight and color change color I have uh, here uh, lowered, raised, uh, expanded, and condensed. So I will apply these styles. First step, I will add the paragraph. I will choose the text effect. I will type Microsoft Word sample. Now align center, I will increase the size, I will add a shading effect, a shad shadowing effect below. Now I added the title, as usual after title I use clear formatting, now I will use equal rand of two to generate the two paragraphs and as given I have to use for both paragraph times in new roman size of 11 align justify for the first paragraph i have a double line spacing so i will go to here and use double line spacing for the second paragraph i have to use single line spacing so i will choose 1.0 for the first paragraph uh, i have a word i will not choose the same exactly word I will apply the same effect. So I have italic. I have a double underline. I will choose here double underline. I have a waved underline. I will choose from here waved underline. Uh, also, I have double strike through. I will choose the word video. I will add from here double strike through. I have a strike through, for example, on word embed. I will add double strike through. I have uh, you can also uh, type, uh, I will make it bold with white color and black highlight. 
Uh, also, we have, uh, for example, search. I will make it uh, raised from advanced. I will choose position raised as a word uh, video. I will make it bold and lowered. I still have to add, for example, on fits, I will make it expanded from here, expanded by three points. Uh, Word document, I will make it as condensed, from space condensed, for example, 1.5 points. Uh, I finally, I need to add shape with type position, so I go to here, shape, I will search for the shape, for example, I will use this shape, I will add it here, and from here, I will add tight. Now I added the shape. as in line now for the second paragraph uh, i have uh, a drop cap shading uh, home tab have a border on text and the entire paragraph has double double line uh, border so uh, first step i will add a shading uh, for t uh, first letter i will add a drop cap now uh, let's make uh, the drop cap as final step. Uh, now I will add double line from body and shading box, apply to paragraph double line. Now I, I will choose, for example, I will make a bold. Also, I will add from border and shading box, the waved, for example, style, apply to text. I add it. Now for T, I will click on T, insert drop cap i make it dropped now i finish the second paragraph now i will move to the table for the table i have uh, four columns and uh, five rows so i will start with the table in from here insert table five columns and four uh, rows i will increase a little bit the size Now, for first cell, I need to move the uh, top and left border. So, I will go to here for six cells, border and shading, apply to cell. I will remove the top and left. Now, uh, for these cells, I have to merge the four, uh, fourth row. Uh, here, I forget to add uh, the fifth I need uh, in the picture one two three four five rows and one two three four row i switch it between them so i need to delete a column so i will go to this column i will click here delete column i need to add a row so i will click here and or i can go to layout and search below now i need to merge these cells from here from layout merge cells also i need to merge these cells so i will merge these cells here i need to type uh, as middle and center, I will type formula. I will type formula. I it will make it uh, increase the size a little bit, make it a bold and italic. Here I need to type, for example, uh, introduction. Introduction. To computers. I need to first to rotate the text, make it at center and middle, uh, make it bold, increase a little bit the size. Also, you can notice that for this cell, I have a shading with pattern and a style to bo of border at top and bottom, same, left and right, same, single waved at top and bottom and left and right. I have the second style. So now I will select this cell I will select the cell now I will go to design border and shading I will apply him may apply to cell I will choose the waved at top and bottom and this style at left and right also I will go to shading I will add a black shading
a white uh, or uh, gray shading I will apply a pattern uh, for example I will apply this pattern now I added uh, this uh, cell uh, for the other cells also you can notice that uh, I will apply the cells the style uh, but let's start apply for this cell for this cell I have three lines from the four, four sides so also from here border and shading I will choose uh, three lines I, I will make it cell box from three style uh, now I did I did uh, this cell and this cell for these cells I have uh, waved for rows and this style for columns I don't have for the bottom so I will choose select all these cells from border and shading at top I no need to uh, modify it uh, uh, same for the left I need to apply the same style to the right and the line in between I will I will do, I will cancel it because I changed the top so border and shading from here I will choose this style apply it at right and line in between and the single uh, waved uh, to apply it in the between and if I need to move the below border I will remove it and click on OK now I applied the style now I need to type the text here I have the type math chemistry uh, for example here I have first second third for this I have them bold I will make it them bold uh, for the type first and second are middle left third is bottom left uh, for uh, here I have mat also bold uh, and all capital so I will type it bold and for layout middle and center for chemistry also bold and middle and center now I will type the formula I have here x2 2 is superscript also a line is middle uh, and center for these four cells a line is the middle and center so directly I will go to here middle and center and for these are uh, bottom and center so I will go to uh, apply bottom and center x2 here I have a equal pr2 I go to insert equation a equal pr2 and here I have also an equation insert equation I have to add a2 plus b2 equal c2 here I have to add h2o Two is subscript I will go to here subscript also here I have CO2 2 is subscript I will add it as subscript and finally I have CN for example H2N plus 1 I have N is subscript 2N and plus 1 also subscript now I added the table same in the picture now I have to add this multi-level list and this smart art but first I have also I forget to add here the picture and the uh, footnote so I will go to here uh, reference insert uh, footnote and I will type it as here insert footnote and I will type sample as for the picture also I will go to here insert picture from this device I will uh, search for the picture I choose it insert I will resize the picture I will choose to make it behind text now I can move it and put it behind the paragraph now uh, I will add the multi-level list for the multi-level list uh, I have to use this multi-level list I have Microsoft 
of s i will go to sub list so i will use increase indent word below word i have week 5 25 percent also now i need to go back to add uh, below word so i will use decrease intent i will add excel for example below excel i need to go to sub list i go to here for example week 10 and 25 percent i have all this list as bold i will select all the list i make it bold finally i need to add the uh, smart art i go to here simply i go to insert smart art i choose the style i need for example this style now i have word excel power powerpoint now i can resize it and make it i will choose to move it so I'm, let's make it for example uh, in the front of text now i can move it to put wherever i need to put it i will move it and put it beside the list and like this i applied or what is required to convert this picture and do it in microsoft word thank you